Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about MetaMask, kind of what it is, um, how I use it, and how to make sure to download it safely. It's actually a digital wallet that's one of my favorites because of the way it lets you save your seed phrase. You can actually memorize it, write it down on a piece of paper. I highly recommend it uh, because it's really hard to memorize a long key phrase, uh, like a passcode phrase for your wallet. So this one's a lot easier to remember and it lets you back in in case you forget anything else. So I'm gonna show that for you here. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over. This is what the homepage looks like. You go to metamask.io, uh, click on the download now. And then this is for the Chrome extension. So I'm gonna show you that. Let's see, it should download the extension now. Add to Chrome, add extension. And then I'm, once it downloads, I'm going to kind of show you a little bit how to use it, what to be careful for, because there can be like phishing attacks and stuff like that. So, oh, here we go. Oh, there's a nice little fox that follows my mouse around. And let's go ahead and get started. So if you already have a seed phrase, you already have an account, you can go ahead and do the one on the left. We're going to start it from the beginning. And we're going to go ahead here, create a password. Uh something random I read and agree okay so this is the secret backup phrase I was talking about this is a I believe 12 word phrase that basically anytime you're you know let's say somebody hacks your account or you forget your password or something like that this is what proves you are who you are and nobody else knows this I highly recommend once you get this, you write it down on a piece of paper or even several pieces of paper, spread it out so no one can ever take your stuff. And like I said, I, I always tell people, make sure you treat this as a wallet because it's just that, it's a wallet. You wouldn't go around uh, when you go to the store, shopping or the mall, anywhere around town, you wouldn't carry your life savings in your wallet just in case you lost it or somebody you know grabbed it and took off with your entire life savings. It's just enough for you to be able to do your shoppings and your day-to-day -day stuff. So uh, again, that's kind of my recommendation. So I'm gonna reveal this one um, just to show you guys. Betray envelope, fortune, board, flat. So the way I do it is I write it in three different lines because it ends up being three lines of four and it's pretty easy to memorize those three lines of four. Again, you can write it on a piece of paper if you want to, but that's the way I did it. Let's see if I can memorize this right now. Betray, envelope, fortune, board, flat squeeze. Okay, ready? I'm gonna cheat really quick and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do what I said not to do. I'm gonna screenshot that. Oh, I'm gonna put it right there. Oh. Let's see here. I'm gonna just screenshot that and put it over there. So again, if anyone hacked my computer, they could see this one but this is just kind of a dummy account. Okay, so betray, envelope fortune, board flat, squeeze material device, April erosion afraid cause. And as long as you had that memorized, you would put that, um, like it says here, uh, save in a backup multiple places. Never share a phrase with anyone. Be careful of phishing. MetaMask will never spontaneously ask you for your seed phrase. You have to actually, I actually know this because I had to do it. You have to go on to MetaMask and find where it says enter your seed phrase. It will never ask you randomly, hey, what's your seed phrase? We need to know to verify a transaction or something. It won't do that. So uh, be careful of phishing attacks. That's my main concern for sure. So uh, I'm not gonna talk about swapping in this video, but you can uh, learn about that in another one. So this is your wallet. This is your digital wallet you'll use to shop around, do transactions, send money to a friend or to or from an exchange. Now to set it up initially, this is your Ethereum wallet. So this is all built on Ethereum uh, for this one. And it uses Ethereum um, transactions to move to and from other wallets. So. If you add Bitcoin or other uh, assets that would be kind of listed down here, USDC, right now it's just Ethereum that is showing and I could deposit from an exchange like Coinbase or something if I wanted to buy it or I could buy directly some right now. Um, I could buy with my debit credit card or I think bank account too and deposit it right in there because that's the first thing you need even to spend it because if you understand the way that um, 
transactions work on the Ethereum protocol in order to move money from this wallet to another wallet or even like shopping somewhere. It requires a little bit of Ethereum to pay the miners to do the transaction and put that transaction up on the public ledger and move it from my wallet to a wallet to B wallet. Um, so it's, it's really small fees, but I can kind of show you, let's see if I can show you really quick on my home one. Let's see here. Here's my actual MetaMask. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Once you have it downloaded, I could send, I could send, uh, I have just $23 in this one. I could send some Ethereum into another wallet uh let's say okay let's say this so now you can see uh i can choose the speed at which it's done and this is the kind of basically the fee i'm offering to the people the miners who are going to be doing the transaction for me so i can do a slow for five dollars average for 950 or get the transaction done really fast for 1067 um and i haven't even entered in how much i want to do so let's say i want to do 0 0.007 uh ethereum that's a $13 transaction. If I want to get it done in average time, it's going to be an additional $9.50 just in the transaction fee. Now, this is really high, just so you know right now. Uh, once Ethereum 2 rolls out, it's going to be back to normal prices, like really, really cheap, hopefully under $0.10 cents or so. You can change this and do it kind of more advanced if you want to do exactly how much uh way you want to do. But this is kind of just a basic option. You can kind of think about it like paying a bouncer to get into a club early uh that's the way it kind of works you can pay these miners to get your transaction ahead of everybody else's or if you don't really care that it gets done that fast you can put it on slow and it'll get done when it gets done you just got to be careful because if you do too slow and you try to be a little bit too cheap uh the transaction could fail entirely and you just lose that uh, not the entire transaction you get the 1303 back uh, but the actual transaction fee that you put in there, let's say I was cheap and said a dollar for the transaction fee. The whole thing could fail if it didn't get done in the parameter and then I would just lose that dollar. So uh, that's just kind of a quick tutorial of MetaMask. I would highly recommend kind of scrolling around here, but I really recommend it because like I said, you can memorize that seed phrase. And then just in case something happens, I forget passwords all the time. Uh, or somebody hacks you and gets into something, you can always access that wallet if you had a couple hundred bucks or maybe even a thousand dollars if you were super risky uh, on there. So, and it keeps your identity safe, doesn't let people steal your stuff. So, yeah, that's uh, today's little tutorial on how to install and use MetaMask Wallet. I hope you guys like this video. If so, give me a thumbs up and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.